welcome to Kids Academy. Hello, boys and girls. It's Teacher Michael. And today, I'd like to talk to you about arrays and equations. And we have an awesome worksheet to help us do that. But before we get started, let's take a closer look at an array and see what equations we can make from this array. So in our practice array, we're going to have four rows. And in each row, we're going to have three. So let's go ahead and draw this array. And now we can take a closer look to see what equations we can make from this array. Well, one thing we can do is we can add up each row. So let's count how many there are in each row and make a number sentence. Well, I know there's three in each row, so we can write three at the end, and we can just add up all of our threes. So we could say three plus three plus three plus three. And you know what that equals? Well, I know three plus three equals six, and we do that again. And now we have 6 plus 6, and that's another doubles fact. And I know that 6 plus 6 equals 12. So really, 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 equals 12. Well, there's another equation besides 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3. Let's count the columns. Well, in our first column, I see that there's 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. There's also 4 in our other columns. So we could also say 4 plus 4 plus 4. And we'll know that the total is 12 because we know that there's 12 dots in total. So we could say that 4 plus 4 plus 4 also equals 12. So those are our two equations. 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 and 4 plus 4 plus 4. And they both equal 12. So let's read the directions for our worksheet and get started right away. Flower arrays. Check the two correct equations for each array. So let's look at our first array of flowers. I see that in this array, there are four flowers in each row. I also notice that there are two flowers in each column. So what does that tell us about the equations we can use? Well, I know one equation that we can use is simply four plus four, because there are four flowers in each row. Another equation we can write is by the columns. And I know we could write two, because there's two in each column, and there's one, two, three other ones. So we're going to have to write two plus two plus two plus two. So let's go ahead and find these equations and give them a check. So I see four plus four equals eight right here. And if we counted all of our flowers, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, we'll know that's the total. I also know that 4 plus 4 does equal 8, and 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 also equals 8. And that equation can be found right here. Our other two equations, 4 plus 2 equals 6, is true, but that does not match our array. And the other equation of 2 plus 2 equals 3, well, that's just not true. So those are our two correct equations. Let's move on to the next array. For our next array, let's count the flowers in each row. I see one, two, three, four, five flowers in the first row. That must mean there's five flowers in the second row. So our first equation can simply be five plus five. And do you know what five plus five equals? Well, if you don't, you can simply count the flowers. But if you do, you'll know that it's 10. So I know that we have a total of 10 flowers. So our next equation is going to have to equal 10 flowers. Let's count the columns to see what our next equation could be. Again, I see that there's two in each column, and there's one, two, three, four, five columns. So we could write two plus two plus two plus two plus two. And we'll know that that equals 10, because that leaves us with one, two, three, four, five twos, and five twos, two plus two plus two plus two. Plus two plus two equals 10. So let's go ahead and check our two correct equations. Five plus five equals 10, and two plus two plus two plus two plus two also equals 10. Remember, all we're doing is counting the rows and the columns to find the equations. Let's see for the next one. In our next picture, let's count the number of flowers in each row. There's one, two, three, four flowers in each row. Well, how many times will we be adding four? Well, I know that there's one, two, three rows, so we're going to add four 
plus 4 plus 4 for our first equation. For our second equation, we can count up the flowers in each column. In the columns, there's one, two, three flowers. But I know that there's one, two, three, four columns, so we're going to have four threes. So we're going to add three, plus three, plus three, plus three. And you know what both of these equations equal? If you don't, you can simply count the flowers. If you want, if you're up for a challenge, you can do the math. Let's try it. I know that four plus four equals eight. And then we can just count up 8 plus 4. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So I know that 4 plus 4 plus 4 equals 12. And 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 also equals 12. So let's go ahead and check those equations. Here we have 4 plus 4 plus 4 equals 12. And here we have 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 equals 12. Let's move on to our final picture. Let's count the flowers in each row to find out what our first equation will be. We see one, two, three, four, five flowers in each row. So we can start with a five. Well, how many rows are there? There's one, two, three rows. So I'm going to add five three times. Five plus five plus five plus five. Our second equation can be found by looking at each flower in the columns. So we see that there's one, two, three flowers in each column. Well, how many columns are there? There's one, two, three three, four, five columns. So we're going to add three five times. Three plus three plus three plus three plus one more three would give us five threes. And you know what both of these equations equal? Again, if you don't, you can count them or you can do the math to figure it out on your own. Five plus five equals ten plus another five gives us fifteen, which means our other equation must be fifteen as well. So let's go ahead and find these two equations. Here, I see 5 plus 5 plus 5 equals 15. And then here is 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 also equals 15. Remember, boys and girls, when you're trying to figure out the equations that match an array, count the number in each row and then count the number of rows. You can do the same for the columns to find another equation. Thanks for watching, boys and girls. We'll see you next time. Subscribe to our channel to stay updated on new videos. Find links to our apps in the comments below.